February 20th, 2017. I'm Dana Durnford, your host, Nuclear Proctologist Guy, a dot org. We bring we bring the information that the world needs to know, the world demands to know, the world is starving to know. Right to your screen, worldwide, at your leisure. Good morning, everybody. Sylvia Shawcross is here. Elaine, which is Shani again. Hi, Elaine. How are you, honey? I hope you're doing well. M. Shai Cho. I'm going to call you that because I don't got my glasses. Oh, got my glasses. Probably not going to help any. Hi, Sensor. Good morning, everyone. Neil, out there in TV land, and computer land, and cell phone land, and nuclear public relation firms land. Come on over to the winning side. Tell your children you got a heart. Show them you got a heart. Jump out a building and put it on YouTube so all us anti nuclear can enjoy your demise. It's better than us catching you in the future and throwing you out that window, because that's what's going to happen to the nuclear industry. The planet is going to catch up to them and throw them out windows. The mystery diseases on the Pacific coast kind of demands some kind of action. And flying nuclear apologists seems kind of appropriate. Thank you, Elaine. It's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing good. Hi, everyone. I'm Thirst. Deb. Hi, Deb. And everybody. Good morning, folks. Like, the headlines are... They're undeniable what's going on here. Even CNN kind of got to tell the truth. It's not impossible to know how much got out. We, we haven't seen media challenge TEPCO on any issue. TEPCO can say whatever they want. They can say there's nothing they can't say that the media will not question them. Ah, Abe fixed it with a band-aid. Oh, headlines. Abe fixed Fukushima nuclear power plant with a band-aid. And all the academics, well, that was just marvelous. We've been working at it for decades. We couldn't make any hand. Thank goodness Abe came along with a band-aid. Everybody's terrified or ashamed to challenge the official story. That will destroy them, their careers, their pensions, their children, their homes, their communities because of their cowardice. Because they're cowards. Cowards. They only enjoy one thing. That's victims. Cowards. Like we put our fate in academics and look what they done to us, right? They destroyed us. And none of them will speak out and tell the truth because you can go back and find all the lies. So they got themselves painted into a corner and there's no way out. We might as well hang them all and get rid of them, get them off the planet. I mean, that's the moral and ethical thing to do is get rid of nuclear scientists as quick as we can. It's a metaphor for getting rid of the nuclear scientists as quick as we can. I don't care if you pile them up in a big pile and burn them or you put them in a big spot and you drop a big friggin' bomb down on them and we can watch as long as we can all watch it and enjoy the death of all the nuclear scientists we can forgive them <laughs> satire folks or is it award-winning food project shows Canadians are being uh, sucker punched by the Japanese public relation firms who infiltrated 
our food section here in Canada, and they shipped in all kinds of radioactive food from Japan. And they're like, oh, no, there's no radioactive food. Therefore, it couldn't have got in, Dana. I said, come meet me down by the mall. I'm going to bash your head in with a friggin' brick because a brick don't leave any fingerprints. Researchers predict the West Coast killer whales will exceed a thousand beckles. A kilogram. <laughs> if you went into the hospital and your child or you had a thousand beckles a kilogram, your doctor would friggin' run. They say, stay right here, and then they would never come back. Get in their car, they were gone, man. Wouldn't even look in the mirrors. Hey, it could be coming. They just get the frig out of Dodge. They have a massive die off throughout the Pacific Ocean. It's okay, Dana. Normal, Dana. This is what happens. It's the way the world works. The ocean doesn't need all kinds of life in it to be an ocean, it just needs water. Reporter. There's no such thing as a reporter when it comes to nuclear or Fukushima. There's nobody out there you can trust. And anybody that's showing up, they're up to something no good. Anybody out there telling you the truth right now and that seems like the truth, they're lying. They're manipulating you. Trust me. There's no one out there telling the truth. I don't even know what the truth is, but I'm trying. I'm the closest you're ever going to see to it today, right here, right now. They're getting a little taste of that. Change songs. I'll get to where I'm supposed to be. The radioactive waters hasn't stopped flowing, but they never opened their mouth after. That was the end of it. They shut their mouth. That was they reported it and then they shut it all. All of these headlines are exactly that where they reported it and then shut up, never brought it up. No matter how pertinent it was to future stories, never brought it up. Fukushima ocean plume detected on the coast. Look, the ocean current travels at five, say five miles per hour. We're not counting jet stream, which gets it here in three days and covers the entire Pacific. It falls down like a snowstorm right to the ocean floor. No, we're talking about the stuff that just rolls into the Pacific Ocean from under the plant. It takes 45 days to make it across conventionally just with the ocean currents. Five miles an hour, 24 hours a day, 45 days is 5,500 miles. But in that equation, you have to put evaporation and rain being picked up and liberated and brought into your coastline. And when that comes in and hits your mountain ranges and then the clouds will lose a big percentage of the payloads. That will wash back, a lot of it will wash back down to your coastline, to your tidal zones, to the nursery. Yeah, let's not go look at that, that stuff scientists have already shown us. They're not going to go look at it. We went out and done the whole coastline. We documented it. It's up at the nuclearproctologist.org. Uh, the tidal pools. We'll talk about that maybe in a bit. We have a right to know if the fish is safe. And what they tell you, the academics, the, the monsters that are out there saying, and they're making fun of anybody got any concerns. Well, it's just like a banana. Let me tell you like a banana. It's I think it's legal to choke them at this stage. Let me tell you it's like walking in the sunshine or climbing a mountain. I think it's legal... Well, it will be soon anyway to, to kill these people on site. Not going to be moral or ethical or anything like that, but it'll be legal in anybody's eyes. When you found out what scientists, your gods, your painted gods, you're not allowed to have a normal god. You got to have your god has to be an academic or a scientist or a TV personality or a celebrity, you're, like your children have to covet a corporation. They're not allowed to have a normal progress of life. They have to get out there and pretend these people are their gods. So the people that tell you it's like climbing a mountain or flying on an airplane, it's everywhere, it's good for you. 
It's perfectly acceptable to punch them in the mouth. That's normal from here on out, trust me. I'm not suggesting you do it. I'm just saying if you've seen it done or you hear about it, you read about it, just tell your friends, hey, that's normal. They're just nuclear scientists. Uh, they're the lower caste of society forever. They're disposable rejects. They're not humans. Uh, they're not perceived as humans anymore. Why well, they might be, but uh, because of their betrayal to humanity, their betrayal to the ecosystem, to their own loved ones, their friends, their families, their parents, their great, great, great undead grandparents who are walking zombies, I'm sure. There's going to be radiation from Fukushima for years. The Canadian shithead government, idiot assholes, come out and puked up for the puke machine, the nuclear public relation. Like, we should start off with public executions of anybody that's in a, got a job public relation firm. Anybody that works for public relation firm, it should be legal to kill these fucking people. No matter how you want to do it, no matter how hideous you want it to be, it should be totally legal to get rid of these fuckers permanently. Blow torches, whatever. We don't care anymore. They gotta go. It's us or them. It's the other 8 million species, it's this handful of pompous, arrogant monsters known as academics. Anything with an academic attached to it now is fear fucking game. Anybody that tells you it's like a banana or walking in sunshine, it's your job to get in their fucking face. It's your job to call them out, not back down. Anybody that tells you any connotations like this here, like walking in sunshine, get in their fucking face every day for a month. Anybody that tells you like eating banana, scream at them all day, every day for years. Anybody that tells you radiation or has ever told you that, go out and find them and get in their fucking faces. Because pretty soon there's going to be a big long line and you're not going to be able to. Because everybody else is going to be ripping their fucking hair out of their heads. That's all coming because they won't give us an opportunity. They've done it to themselves. Not my fault. I'm not. I'm just saying where I think the near future is for anybody that's an academic. I'm just stating it like it is. You can't kill a Pacific Ocean and think we're going to fucking forgive you. <laughs> We're coming looking for blood. We're looking for limbs. Well, we might not be allowed to kill you, but we should be allowed to chop off your fucking legs and arms. That's what we should legally be allowed to do. We're not going to be legally allowed to eradicate these fucking menace to our solar system, let alone Earth. Well, we should be allowed to fucking incapacitate them, get rid of their arms and legs. Fukushima Plume arrives at the West Coast in 2014. See, whoever wrote that fucking story should be choked and dragged behind a fucking truck down Main Street, Main Street during a parade. Everybody should clap. <laughs> Look at the nuclear politicians being dragged down the street. <laughs> That's the future. Because you fuckers lied and lied and lied, manipulated and deceived and barbarized anybody out there try to have a conversation, demonized and vilified anybody try to tell the truth, tell the honest facts, try to show that it's not like a banana or walking in the sunshine. Why? Like, they got away with it for 70 years, but it's it's over. It's over, right? That lie is over. It's... it's and everybody that ever uttered those words, every academic in particular, they're going to be fucking hunted down and slaughtered. Because you won't give the planet a chance. You won't give the 8 million species on the planet an opportunity. You're the intent upon keeping everybody in harm's way so you can have a fucking paycheck. Because you are a true monster. You're nuclear. Anything nuclear, any public relation firms, you're our fucking enemy forever. You're the world's worst production. You're the worst thing Earth has ever created. Like all public relation firms have to be dealt with. We got to deal with these fucking people. They got to go. There's nothing, I don't mean fire them or anything like that. I mean, they got to go. I don't care if you drop them in a hot vat of fucking oil. They got to go. 
We kill the Pacific Ocean, that means we kill the planet. It's going to play out in less than 10 years from now. All the animals are starved to death. All the birds starved to death. Mass die-offs everywhere you look. Large marine animals likely sense danger. Fukushima plume fled. What kind of fucking headline is that? They were choked out by lack of oxygen. They were choked out by radiation. Only baby born in 2000. Now, all the killer whales up here, every one of them in Puget Sound and out here in British Columbia, Canada, are fucking starved to death. A killer whales that can eat anything. Otters and fucking dolphins and porpoise and birds and everything else. And they did. How about you name it? Are starving to death? Really? And I'm the bad person? Well, seeing as I'm the bad person, I'm going to become that person from now on. Seems as I'm the bad person, seems as I'm the fucking demon and the devil, I'm going to become that person from now on. Yeah? Well, I'm going to be your devil from now on, I can assure you. I'll be your adversary forever and ever. Now, the nuclear industry's adversary. We want you gone. There's, there's no middle ground. We don't want you to help fix anything. We want you gone. If you ever fucking lied, if you ever said the fuel pools... At number four, being emptied by Tepco and tricked people into believing that, you're a fucking target. You're criminals, you're war criminals. We want you prosecuted. We want you publicly fucking prosecuted. Then we want you executed. We want you gone from the planet forever. We want your legacy burnt. And everything with your name on it, destroyed. We want to get you completely out of the history books, outside of the part that you were a genocidal maniac, a mass murderer, and that we want to make documentaries upon how you tricked your friends and families and then your universities and your institutions into accepting you. We want to see thousands of documentaries on how academics murdered their way to a paycheck. What you have done to the planet... What you got done to this planet, there will be no forgiven. There, there is no... There's no way... What the hell was that, Dana? There's no way. We're going to drop a piano on your head. I don't care. We'll create robots that'll go find you and finish you out in the near future. Hunt you down. Whatever it takes. We're willing to do it. It's a big job. Somebody's got to do it. And then... It'll sing happy birthday to you, and you go like, oh, the robot likes me. I gotta go out and get my birthday present, and kapow! Robot, it's gonna detonate, take you the fuck out, because you're a nuclear apologist. Or you helped him. Or you supported him. You hit him away. Yeah. I'm telling you very clear today, because the reality is we got no time left. Time is up. The gig is up. The jig is up. We got now we got to go to war. Now we got to fight for every second in the future. Now we got to have Now we got to go literally physically to war against these people. There's no more come on out and tell the truth you lying sacks of shit. No, now we got to get them by the neck, put a camera in front of them, make them confess. Now we got to waterboard them hundreds of times to get them to tell the truth if that's what it takes. Right? We got to find out who helped them, who paid them to come out and lie. Which institutions, which universities, which academics, which governments, which businesses, which corporations, which mining companies, which uranium stock companies. Got institutions and universities and, and journalists and everybody else and to come out and lie to everybody. We need to know who... who help that happen so we can get rid of these fucking people and is that going to change anything in the future will that bring back the pacific ocean no will that save humanity no will that give us any kind of uh consolence no will we restore balance yes is that the moral and ethical thing that the universe demands yeah an eye for an eye i think we take it further Anybody that ever said it's like a banana or sleeping next to somebody or it's harmless or it's like climbing a mountain or flying on an airplane is your mortal enemy. These are your mortal sworn 
enemies. You better fight for your life. You better fight for every second. These people are not going to give you an inch. See, we knew way back in 2013 this was a catastrophic event. But everybody mocked, which was the media, the public relations firms. You can find the links to most of them under Simply Info. Yeah? Go, which is a public relations firm, the worst type. But they got all the other public relations firms linked there. You can go find all these fuckers in the one spot. Right? Take, get a list of everybody and so in the future you know who to go looking for. And possibly remove the molten cores. And these fuckers have come out and made fun of it. Right? Like nuclear so hot seat has its song starts off. The Corium is seeking and the activists are leaking. Right? These, these connotations, someone should look up the words to her opening song and you'll find out what that fucker is really up to. These are despicable, unbelievable, maniacal fucking people. Highest levels of Fukushima contamination in the plankton, 2013. Well, the plankton's pretty well all gone. Plankton is the basis of the food chain, the basis of the oxygen chain, the basis of the carbon and the biggest carbon sequestering chain on the planet. The biggest oxygen production on the planet is from the phytoplankton. They've been wiped out. It's not a game. Like Dina just screamed to get rid of the nuclear industry for 22 minutes non-stop. Yeah, because you killed the Pacific Ocean. And you won't stop lying for six years now. After telling everybody every fucking time you open your mouth, it's like walking in sunshine. Yeah, tell it to me. I'll break something off your fucking head. Say it's like eating a banana to me. I'll knock most of your teeth out of your fucking head. You come up and say that to my face or at a lecture or on one too, you're going to go on your back sleeping next to somebody. I'll break your fucking neck right right there on the spot. You'll sleep all you fucking want after that. Tell me it's like eating potato chips. I'll fucking bury you in potato chips. I'll drown you. I'll stick so many potato chips up your nose and down your throat and in your fucking eyeballs. You won't say it no more. Climb a mountain, I'll throw you off one. Tell me that, I'll throw you off a fucking mountain. It's like flying on a plane, I'll throw you out of a fucking plane in the future. You're telling me it's everywhere, I'll scratch your fucking head. And if you tell me that the radiation, one more fucking time, I'll drive down, I'll pull your hair out of your head when I'm throwing you through a fucking windmill. Because I will fight for this planet. You won't. You'll kill the planet for your paycheck for another couple of years. You'll do anything to hide your crimes. I will do anything to uncover and show the world that you're monsters in our midst, that you are at war with us. You are murdering my friends and my families, my loved ones, and I will fucking respond appropriately. I won't sit here idly. I won't pretend that we're in a civilized society anymore when I see with my own two eyes what you have done. You are the worst things that ever happened to this planet. You are the most twisted, demented, heartless, spineless, soulless fucking animals. Well, you're not even animals. You're anti-human monsters. You're not humans. You're monsters. You lie and lie constantly, fucking relentlessly. You tell a story, but you won't bring it back up ever again to give yourself street creds. Radioactive water reached 3,200 kilometers. See, if I can go out and find all the evidence, they could have too. If I can go out and show you all the documentary, doc, documentation that I've done now for year after year after year, they could have too. They could have done it better. We're in desperate mode. We are in a fight for every species. And this fight is on. It's on. It's on full blown for six years, but you can't see it or smell it or hear it or taste it or feel it or pick it up or throw rocks at it. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Doesn't mean it's not a real and present 
danger. Doesn't mean we don't got to act right now. Doesn't mean we better not get our asses in gear. Doesn't mean we're not on Earth's last stand. We are on Earth's last stand. And it's speeding up. It's time to stop playing. Like lie after lie, lethal threat. But then they don't come out. This, the Times, then they never come out and mention this shit again. They just drop it like it never happened. Then their next story is like a banana. Over and over and over and over. They come out and tell you a bit of the truth. Then the very next story is like walking in the sunshine. Like getting on an airplane. And it's nowhere like that. It was never like that. Man-made radiation will never be like that. And they're still doing it to us. They won't slow it down. They won't give it up. And so we need to get rid of them. We need to get rid of them. They need to go. They won't go willingly. The system won't get rid of them. It's up to us. We don't want this job. We don't want to be doing this. We don't want to say these things. We don't want to come out and have this be real. Who the fuck would want this to be real? We're in so much trouble because we're, we're not willing to challenge them. We're not willing to hold them accountable. We're not willing to say, hey, you're a fucking lawyer. We're in this trouble because we are cowards. Because they have coerced us by using the laws to demonize and vilify and bankrupt me, arrest me, attack me. Because they, they know there's no one going to pick up for me. They know there's no academics out there going to go to my rescue. Nobody's going to help Dana. And they're going to do it to every other type of Dana that ever shows up. They'll do the exact same thing they're doing to me. For a little while longer. But it's all going to come back now and haunt them. It's all going to come back and blow up in their faces. It's all going to come back... And their families is going to despise them. And it's all going to go back to Japan. But 20, 30 years, it won't matter. The mass die-off is going to happen right now. We're, we're just coming up to that point. Now we see the death of the Pacific. That's where the alpha. We're way up the food chain. So we're probably, in one context, we're the last ones to see the biggest impact on the human species. But we are already seeing the Literally, the extinction of every other species down to tiny parts of what they would normally be. It's an acceleration. We see the insects almost eradicated. We see the birds almost eradicated in British Columbia. We see most of the mammal species on the coastline literally eradicated. We see all the nursery eradicated. We see the very bases of the food chain eradicated. We see all the bigger mammals and animals just emaciated animals? Really? Fukushima ocean plume hit Canada six months ago. It takes 45 days. They can't stop lying for one fucking second. They can't stop lying. They can't do it. They know everything I'm saying is true. They know those answers. They know fucking well it doesn't take till 2013 for radiation to make it across the Pacific Ocean. It's completely fucking ludicrous to even suggest it takes that long. Like you have to be completely incompetent to be a journalist and not appreciate. Computer simulation shows how radioactivity is spread around the world from the disabled Fukushima Daiichi plant. The simulation was created by a group of researchers of at the university now this was right away they had these models coming out of different universities like kyushu university and released on wednesday that simulation is based on the scenario in which contaminated air was vented from the disabled number now you're gonna say vented vented have you ever seen pictures of the buildings they're fucking blown up they're blown up there's, there's no way to vent it it blew up but this is what the media is allowed to come out and say. They're not allowed to tell you the truth. They're not allowed to say from the destroyed, blown up, it may, you know. To react to a building on March 14th, three days after the massive earthquake and tsunami. Computer images showed the radioactive material was lifted 5,000 meters into the air. It was then carried by westerly winds and spread over the Pacific Ocean. 
Yeah, but no, it's not. No, well, our scientist says it's not going to get here until 2013. You're a fucking lawyer. But they're not. See, this fucker here, this is Noah's model. He's come out and made fun of anybody worried about radiation. Never bother saying, hey, that model is real. Right? He comes out and says, you're an idiot if you think that is real. You fucking idiots. You people are stupid. There's no radiation. He even says it's natural like a banana. And he knows he's lying. He's not making up. He's with Discovery Channel. He's doing it on purpose. And he's the most despicable person. Now, because he's there, I can't say he should be hung. Because now that would be targeting him. But his producers and his editors and the people that allowed him to do it are criminals. I can say that. Now, that's Noah's model. The real model, the radioactive fallout. It's based upon the 40 days. I'll move it ahead a little quicker. This is the 23rd, 25th of March. So the whole Pacific Ocean by the 20, 30th of March is totally covered. Yeah, all of North America is covered in radiation. That's Noah's model. But he come out and showed you that model and said there was no, it was bullshit. It never happened when here's the model from Noah. But we know what happened. We, we know, right, that the plume stretched all the way across the Pacific, all the way across North America, all the way across the Atlantic, all the way across the European countries, right back to Japan. And, but it never stopped coming out of Japan. It constantly, continuously comes out of Japan. We know that jet streams are real, not just from these models from major institutions, but we know it from atmospheric trans-Pacific air pollution models. We know it because there's study after study after study showing that. And these particles from pollution are much bigger than the stuff from the reactors. The stuff from pollution particles, you can see them on the head of a needle. This stuff, you can put two million of them, atoms, radioactive atoms, on the head of a needle, but you can't see it. Right in the hill in Calicut, she's out there telling everybody now for six years that the fuel pools are on top of the building. Yeah, for six years, telling people there's fuel pools on top of a building that don't exist. Telling you half-truths, but then telling you lies to fuck you up so you can't really follow through on research because you get lost and you're not able to understand it. But that's the logistics. They manipulated and deceived you and tricked you, like Helen Caldercott, Ernie Gunnarsson, Christopher Busby, are fucking demons. These are demons. You got any idea the lies they told you? The manipulation they actually done for you? To you over the last six years? How they set this entire planet back how they probably singly are responsible for destroying the planet, for disarming the activists who were trying to discover what was really happening. They went to Ernie Gunnison, Helen Callicott, and Dr. Christopher Busby, and they told them they had fucking fuel pools on top of a building that didn't exist on purpose to deceive them. 2014, they met the plume is 4,800 kilometers across the ocean in the first couple of months. Health Canada went out and fucking modeled it. Health Canada. There's the name of the people. Right there, right? They went out and showed the model. They hid it away. Right? Yeah, those people, whether they were responsible or not, I don't know, but it got hid away. They didn't come out and say it's hid away. They kept their mouth shut. All of them are guilty. We know these models are real. We don't need... Someone to come out from media to tell me fucking anything. I don't go to media. I go to the research myself. Why would you trust your media? And what well, what history that's left will show by trusting the media, we sentence the entire planet to be destroyed by putting our fate in Rupert Murdoch's and the, the owners of CNN and MSNBC and BBC and CBC and the Globe and Mail and all the major media, those owners purposely deceived you. Those owners worked together to manipulate you. The journalists worked together to deceive you. Your universities worked in tandem with your government and your academics and your medias to trick you so you wouldn't know any of this 
They really did. They're still at it. They won't give it up. They're determined to kill everybody so they can get a paycheck for another couple of years. Because nothing else would make any sense. Why else are they doing it? They're going to die too. Their children are going to get the cancers and the illnesses and the, and the bone diseases and the skeleton, the respiratory and the adrenaline and the pituitary and the heart problems too. Follard and vegetables was over the top. So once again, when you put it in to the real context, if it was only 600 tons a day, it would still be a nightmare going into the ocean, but it's much, much more than that. That was, that was based upon when they were using fire hoses. So originally, they were washing, spraying the buildings down they were pumping it out around 300 tons a day and putting it in the tanks. And so there was around 600 tons you can pump a day with the fire hoses. But put this into perspective. The reactors need a million gallons a minute. So 600 tons a day. So right away, it was all burnt and on fire. They knew it. There's no ifs, there's no buts, there's no maybes. Your nuclear scientists like Arnie Gunnarsson, Helen Caldercott, Christopher Busby knew fucking well the reactors were gone. They knew that. They knew the spent fuel pools were gone right away. And they spent six whole years constantly coming out and tricking you. And, and reinforcing that lie. Reinforcing, reinforcing the, the deception. The media supported them. The journalists and the academics, your universities continue to fuck you over and now we lost the planet so now we got now the only thing now the only um, consolation is we can go after these people and eradicate them before we we die of vicious cancers i want to do it legally publicly because i'm worried where the planet is going to snap and just go fucking in a two or three week period and try to kill every one of these people because that's where we're headed and there ain't no martial law i gotta stop it there ain't no police force or military or armed forces there ain't nothing gonna stop it man you can't stop what's coming you can't prefer prepare for it. get in your fucking bunkers all you want you gotta have air vents yeah yeah well we'll pour gas down there and burn you the fuck out of there We'll drown you in your bunkers if you think you can hide away from us down there. I don't give a fuck where you're to. This planet will come and get you. You're not getting away with it. Everybody's in the same boat. You got to go first, though. We're tired of this nonsense. Lake Barrett telling the world to shut their pie holes. Lake is a despicable mass murderer. He's a fucking mass murderer. What well, he done at Three Mile Island with Ernie Gunnison, send people in for three minutes, get deadly doses, and then hit it all away? These were all immigrants and day workers. Ernie Gunnison and Lake Barrett killed fucking thousands of people at Three Mile Island. That's, that's fact. And all the minions out there supporting Ernie Gunnison and Calicott and Christopher Busby, don't think we're going to fucking forget you people. Don't think for one second we're not going to remember what you done. Radioactive iodine, which meant there was a chain reaction. When you see iodine-131, for instance, that meant there's a chain reaction ongoing. And so these numbers are just tracers. You have to extrapolate the numbers to look at all the other isotopes, the hot particles, the fissionable products. Report, right? You get these stories coming out, but they lie to you endlessly. On purpose. It's not like a simple lie. It's not like, oh, I made a stupid mistake. No, no. These are fucking well thought out lies. They tell you the truth, but then they lie to you immediately. All the way through it. You go read their other stories, they're lying all the time. <laughs> it's the damnedest thing, eh? It's a game. It's how do you manipulate. You got to tell you some truth bring you in oh geez i gotta go read that it sounds pretty serious and there's a whole bunch of lies like we cover this shit all the time now year after year 
of how they're doing it to you. And we're winning the tie. There's a story today the out there. There's a story today the out there. Uh, there's the lights doing. I'm going to turn the lights up just a little because I'm going to lose control of the Bluetooth once I bring up Firefox. Uh, I just wanted to touch that headline for everybody. I can find it. Oh, there it is. Dangerous radioactive particles have been detected across Europe. No one knows where they came from in January. But the sun got the headline there. It says, from Russia with love, with a question mark, right? These people should be fucking hung out to dry immediately to write those articles. They're blaming the iodine, right, on Russia instead of Fukushima. They're not, they're just suggesting that. They're not actually blaming it, but they're suggesting it's probably Russia. But they do allude that it could be Fukushima. And so they found radiation. Now, they had that big earthquake down there on land, a 9.0, 6.3 on their scale. But when you look at the bottom of the articles, their scale is the 7. So 6.3 is a 9.0 on their scale on land in the Fukushima prefecture, right by the power plants. I done two videos about it, remember? Well, right after that, they had huge traces of iodine. They call it traces, of course. But they had huge increases of iodine-131, which is a fission product. Norway, Finland, Poland, Czech Republic, Germany, France, Spain in January. But the public were not alerted. That's, the, that's in the story. public wasn't told. And they come out and said it's harmless. Oh, it's harmless. Like when people tell you that that's harmless, when we, we know it's not. Is that not a betrayal? Is that not a fucking coward? Should that not be dealt with? Should that not be held accountable? Should people like that not be held to a higher standard? Why are they allowed to say stuff like that when it's patently not true? Why are they allowed to manipulate us when that's a patent lawyer they're telling? Why are they allowed to do that? They're not. Their the editors won't are telling them to, to say that. Their producers are telling them to do that. The owners of the media are insisting they do that. The, the media that are rebroadcasting it are fucking jumping for joy that they've done that. And they're going to come out and reinforce the law. This is what they've done for six years. It's a big game. It's a big joke. And they do it to you willingly. They do it to you for a paycheck in your media and in your university and in your government. Your government doesn't exist. Your government is one big PR firm for public relations. You can't get a job because public relations firms, people have to have that job. In case something happens to a corporation, they got to cover it up. We've lost our government. I'm not making it up. I'm not, I'm not understating it or overstating it. I'm telling you like it is. Over the last 40, 50 years, we lost our government. There's no accountability. There's no one there trying to help you. No one's there trying to do the right thing. No one there got a moral compass. No one there gives a fuck about you. Everybody there is there for the corporations. Everybody in your universities are there for the corporations. Everybody in your media are willing to lie for the corporation and do. All of these people lie all the time for a handful of corporations. We got to kill off these corporations. We got to get rid of the fucking owners. We got to prosecute them for their crimes and the verdict when it's guilty has to be death. We have to get rid of these people. We can't save the planet. We can't save the species. We're going to lose the entire planet in less than 10 years. All the whales are dying. Like, See, that's the giveaway. When the killer whales, which can eat everything, when they're emaciated, that, can, that should never happen. That, that is impossible to happen. There's no way that that could happen. There's no way that that could happen at all. But yet, that happened. And it happened because you sat there and let them lie to you. You sat there and let them get away with it. Because you sat there and took it. Because you sat there and believed them. Because you sat there and wouldn't question them. Because you let your children 
work for the media and let your children and your friends and your family who work for the media, who work for the university, lie to everybody. You're the fucking problem. You're the reason your children and everybody is suffering. You're the reason we're going to lose the planet because you let your loved ones lie. Because you're actually a fucking monster too and you just don't appreciate it. You refuse to accept it. But you knew they were lawyers and you said, oh, well, we got a nice house. You knew they were lawyers. You said, oh, we got a nice check. You knew they were lying. Your husbands and your friends and your families who work for any of these industries. You knew they were fucking scumbags and you refused to hold them accountable. Every opportunity in the book to do the moral and ethical thing and you won't fucking do it. You'd rather kill the planet. I'd rather kill the planet than give up my simple life where everything is given to me. My husband or wife or academics or journalists are working for the government. We're big shots. We don't give a fuck. See, you lose everything, same as us. Except we end up hating you forever and ever. That's all you're seeing today. You're seeing the planet starting to lose it. And what I say is calm compared to what's coming. Oh, yeah, baby. Go ahead and read the comment sections. In any of those stories that are showing up, literally every comment there is articulating and calling you scumbag. Every comment is there saying you're a fucking lawyer. It's already here. We're already in your face. We're already getting ready to take you down. And, and as the truth comes out, there's going to be a rush. Nuclear scientists and academics, journalists, government employees, parts of these radiological protection agencies that didn't do their fucking job are going to be lynched by their own families. That's fact. They're already getting berated in their homes by their own families and they're being berated everywhere they go. It's just going to accelerate. They lied to you. They lied to you constantly. They said it's like a banana. But if you go look through the history of the headlines, you can see they come out and told the truth. They just didn't repeat it. They just didn't use it in context when the story came back up. They forgot it existed. And they played it down originally as why. Now, we, we have been led to the poisoned well. We've had our heads shoved into the tank. And we've been forced to drink it. And now we need to exact our revenge upon this entire fucking industry. And we only got a few short years to fight for any future. We got about two years, maybe. Two years to bring the whole planet on board and fight for its existence. We're going to lose most of the planet anyway. There's no way to stop it. We're all breathing the particles at the same time. We're all drinking it eating it. So the mass die-offs are going to be pretty spectacular coming up in the next couple of years. We know that because of the studies on the animals. Like Dr. Raymond Gilmetty, he won't be forgotten. 94 studies, all the dogs died and all the study year after year after year. Without fail, every dog died in every study. 144 dogs, 95 dogs were uh, bone tumors were the most common cause, but they had liver tumors and lung tumors also. But the bone tumors killed 93. Lung tumors were the 46 dogs were the second most common cause. And liver tumors were in 20 dogs were the, the third most common. All the dogs died in all the studies and every year without fail. But hey, don't worry about it. Live in your little fantasy world. Because they're coming for you. Your friends and neighbors are going to come for you for what you've done. They're going to take you a fucking part. And you got no one to blame but yourself. You got no one to blame but your greed. You got no one to blame but your fucking... In your ability to have no compassion for the human on this planet. It's your... Your legacy is we'll dig you up if we got to. That's your legacy. We'll be coming for you in the near future. Every way we can. Because you deserve nothing. You deserve to lose everything. And you will. You're an abomination. 
the academics, the nuclear, pro-nuclear industry, the pro-nuclear trolls that are paid, the, the fucking monsters that are injecting man-made radiation into your children at the hospitals. That's the biggest betrayal. That's the most despicable betrayal is what they do in your hospitals where your loved one has these vicious illnesses and the solution for them that never cured a single person ever is to inject them with man-made radiation. You got any idea? You know, how many people have been deceived and manipulated and tricked by that one? Well, I don't know what to do. My, my loved one is dying. You bring him to the hospital. You, you're doing what you thought was right, what you're trained to do when that happens. And it's a betrayal. They murdered your loved ones. They tricked you into doing it. See, that's the most shocking part of all of this, is it? Because that is what they do. Like nature is special in every way and shape and every form. And that will disappear along with us. Everything will disappear. We, we are looking at end times and there's nothing good about it. There's no salvation. Salvation is standing up for 8 million species. Salvation is fighting for that future. Fight for... 8 million species that don't have a voice and all we think about is ourselves. All we think about is what's on TV or a sports team or whatever celebrity we're fed in Hollywood fantasy. But you're, you should think about your future. You should think about your friends and, and your pets and your animals and your community your loved ones and those unfortunate because that is that is what it's like that's what it means to be a human to be a human doesn't mean to gather up all your toys and sit there and just have this self-gratification lifestyle humanity is about helping not just you but the other eight million species and the world be a better place and, and that the future is something to cover, not something to fear. Hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, British Columbia, Canada the time, British at the beautiful girl by Dina on YouTube. Hugs for everybody.